Hey guys, Marauder here, and I just wanted to rant for a bit on a topic that kind of pisses me off. Uh, I, I thought of this when I was reading the Motley Fool article, which I will have a link to below, about how the release of the new Xbox One and PS4 consoles that have a one terabyte internal hard drive more or less will bring about the end of physical game media, be it you know, DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever. And just for disclosure, obviously I download tons of digital games on PC. Steam and Origin are more or less the, you know, the only ways to get games on PC. Uh, very few games release in a physical uh, format, and even when they do, most times they require you to link them to either Steam or Origin in order to get them to actually work. Um... But on console, I am physical all the way. I will, you know, download the occasional indie title, the occasional virtual console game. But 99% of what I go out and buy is physical cartridges or discs. And this Monthly Fool article really got me thinking. Will we move to an all-digital future? I think we will. In the long term, I think we will. However... I don't think it's going to happen nearly as quickly as everybody thinks it will for a couple of reasons. One is simply consumer acceptance. Uh, if anybody remembers when the Xbox One was initially announced, they were talking about an always online DRM system where all the games were going to be basically linked to the cloud, linked to the internet, and if you didn't have an internet connection, you couldn't play the games even if it was a physical copy that you went to a brick-and-mortar store to buy. Um, another thing is simple download limits. A lot of people have internet connections that limit how much they can actually download. And if anybody looks at the most recent AAA titles coming out, uh, take, for example, Batman Arkham Knight, requires nearly 50 gigabytes of data when installed, which is ridiculous to try to download that much on any kind of internet connection, regardless of how quick you, you know, your internet connection is. Because if you're limited to, say, 150, 200 gigabytes a month, suddenly, you know, a quarter of that is taken up by one game. So physical media for consoles, I think, is going to stick around for a long time. A lot longer than most people probably think it will. Also, I don't think that going all digital is really going to help in terms of cost either. Like, yes, it will cost less for Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo to do, but they will have no incentive to lower the price of their games. As a matter of fact, Nintendo announced recently that their digital titles are put on the eShop for the same amount of money that the physical copies are because their games, quote-unquote, deserve it. And they rarely, if ever, put things on sale. And when they do, it's really not that good a sale. It's not going to be like Steam is, where Steam has ridiculous sales. Because there's no competition. There's none. The PC, as it stands, is an open market. And Steam and Origin compete against each other because it's a wide open market. If people don't like Steam, if people don't like Origin, they can go elsewhere to get their games. You can go to GOG.com, or you can just play like emulators, or any number of other things, rather than AAA titles on your PC. So, all the companies compete very fiercely with sales in order to get people on their platform and keep the people on their platform. But, if you buy a PlayStation 4, there's no competition because the PlayStation 4 is a closed ecosystem. And yes, you are competing with the Xbox One and the Wii U, but there's no reason for them to lower the price. None. The occasional sale, yes, but you won't see sale discounts like you would on Steam or Origin anytime soon because there's no incentive for them to do that. You bought the system. There's one portal to get your games, and that's you know the Sony Store or the Microsoft Store or the eShop, whatever system you have, and that's it. So, to think that console games are going to go completely digital 
within the next five years is a ridiculous claim. I don't remember how long in the article it was stated that they would go for, but it did say it did state that 20% of all game sales were digital download, and by 2018 it should go up to about 50%. So in another three years, you're going to see half of the games people buy be digital only. Also, I think there's something to say about, uh, you know, the support these systems will inevitably give. Whereas you buy a PC and Steam will let you download any game that's on your list for as long as you have a valid account. Whereas on the PlayStation 4, they might support that system for, let's let's give them 10 years. And in 10 years, if you don't have that game downloaded to your console, if you don't have it somehow backed up on a flash drive, you will never be able to play that game again. It's gone. You spent your $60, $70, on the game, and because it's still in the cloud, it's still on their servers, which they shut off, you're not allowed to download it again. You're not allowed to play it again and I think that's part of the issue if you had a physical copy if you went to a store and bought a disc you could put the disc in the system install the game and away you go that's part of the reason I did my uh, offline ps4 video was simply to to kind of prove my theory of could you play the most recent consoles offline and you can so the idea that people will go almost completely digital, I really don't think it's going to happen nearly as quick as they say it will, because there's just too many hurdles to overcome. And personally, I'm sick and tired of people talking about it, and so I just thought I'd throw that out there. That's my opinion. Take it or leave it. So what are your guys' thoughts? Leave them in the comment section below. I would really appreciate it. And thanks for listening to me rant. This has been Marauder, and I will catch you guys on the next episode.